As of tomorrow, you are no longer the sole owner of your property. They will assist you with all your foreclosure questions and concerns. I understand your frustration, sir. I really do. We're seeing a record number of home foreclosures in our country, but there is help for those in need. I'm Naomi Binkley with Fireside Production. It's time for a quick fire round, Foreclosures 101, with Kathy Williams, head of the Colorado Foreclosure Hotline. What should someone do if they start to fall behind on their mortgage payments? You absolutely want to call your lender. I know that seems so counterintuitive because if you've ever gotten a call from a collections person, it's not a very pleasant call to be engaged in. But at least in this market where we have such an onslaught of number of foreclosures, I think we now are seeing lenders um, be much more reasonable about working out a short-term solution or see if they can work out a short-term solution that will lead into a long-term solution. Somos de la línea de ayuda de ejecución hipotecaria. We have our own hotline, which means that we're dealing with local counselors. And if a person will go in and meet with a counselor, face to face, four out of five of those individuals will avoid foreclosure. It's a free of charge service. What advice do you have for someone whose payments are scheduled to reset at a higher rate? You absolutely also need to call your lender first and see if they have some other type of product to put you into. Sometimes they do not. But now, especially with the most recent bill that was passed by Congress, there are so many more options now in the marketplace of different types of financing products. Certainly within Colorado, um, there's some additional FHA project Pro, uh, products, but in addition to that, the Colorado Housing and Finance Authority, which is CHAFA, has some uh, new loan products available if, in fact, you need to look at a refinance. How can someone ensure they're not falling victim to foreclosure scams? We absolutely have seen a lot of folks take out phone numbers very similar to our number. We have seen um, basically individuals who send out mailings and they'll put the Equal Housing logo um, on it, and it gives people the impression that, the, that this particular program or telephone number or whatever is sanctioned by the state. The only sanctioned number by the state is the Colorado Foreclosure Hotline number. How can people looking to refinance or buy a new home lower their risk of foreclosure? We had a lot of creative um, loan products and a lot of creative um, types of uh, home buying scenarios in this last marketplace which are partially responsible for the onslaught of foreclosures that we have today. One of the amazing things that we have found is that individuals who went to a first time home buyer training, those foreclosure late rates are less than one half of one percent. So get, having that upfront knowledge before you go into that process of buying a home seems to be one that is very, very beneficial. Sometimes people's schedules don't always allow them um, the latitude to attend a class somewhere. So now on the Colorado Division of Housing's website is something called the Puzzle of Home Ownership. So if in fact you would like to take a class online or know some of these things online, you can certainly uh, access them that way. How do you start over and rebuild your credit after a foreclosure? One of the things that our housing counselors do through the hotline is also this credit rebuilding process that they do free of charge. So what happens is you can sit down and it could be maybe the Adams County Housing Authority or maybe Chaffa or maybe um, Brothers Redevelopment. What they'll do is they will help you set a plan for redevelopment of your credit, redevelopment of your budget, redevelopment of the, the list or scenario of things that you need to accomplish in order to get involved in home ownership the second time.